to call the meeting for the licensing hearings and public safety committee to order. I'm going to start with roll call. Alderperson Barb Feldy is excused. Alderperson Betty Ackley, I am here. Alderperson Dean Decker. Here. Alderperson Joe Heideman. Here. And Alderperson Amanda Salazar. Yeah. If everyone could please join me for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I think all of us know each other, so if there's no objection, I would like to skip number four, which is the introduction of committee members, staff, and guests, and move on to approval of the minutes from the August 24th, 2022 meeting. Do we have a motion? I move to approve the minutes from August 24th. We have a second. Second. Okay, we have a motion and a second. All those who are in favor of the approval of the minutes, please signify by stating aye. 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 Opposed, same signal. And chair votes aye. The minutes are approved. Item number six is resolution number 65 22 23 96 2022. A resolution authorizing application for the NAMI Wisconsin CIT and CIP expansion grant. So, NAMI is a state organization that supports uh, CIT and mental health awareness, particularly through uh, police agencies and other. Uh, service providers throughout the state. They have a grant program available uh, for to fund a majority of the expenses for a CIT, that's crisis intervention team training program that we're uh, embarking on. Uh, we've been uh, providing this training for the last eight years and we're scheduled to uh, have another cycle of it starting in October. Uh, so the grant funding is, is requested to supplant the cost of the training program. Anybody have any questions? No, no questions, just comment that this is uh, this is a great thing. I think anything we can do to help our officers with, uh, in training for mental health issues, because of, there's such a need for it out in the community that is the chief has said in the past, uh, that's you know, majority of calls are mental health issues. So we made a very aggressive effort to have uh, all of our officers trained in CIT and ICAP principles. Good. Sure. Thanks, John. So, so what? Percentage of the department participate in this? Uh, is it in this one session? Yeah. Or that one so session. Our, our goal is 100% participation. In okay. this one session, we'll have 14 of our officers and uh, I believe seven from neighboring jurisdictions. Any other comments, questions? I make a motion to authorize. Second. Motion and a second on the floor. So all those who are in favor, please signify by stating aye. 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 Opposed? Chair votes aye. That resolution is approved. Item number seven is resolution number 59-22-23-9622. A resolution authorizing the appropriate city officials to enter into a contract with Metals Treatment Technologies LLC, MT2, for lead remediation from the outdoor police shooting range located at the wastewater treatment facility. So for your information, the, the range was built. Uh, we're not exactly sure when it was built. We believe it was built in the late 50s or early 60s. Uh, and the lead has never been remediated out of the berm. Uh, we began looking at this several years ago when the um, uh, EAP came out with a guideline for uh, managing outdoor ranges. And so removal of the existing lead is, is one of the first basic steps that we can take to cleaning the, the soil and the dirt in the impact area. Uh, we were approved through the capital budget to, to uh, go ahead with the remediation. Uh, the purchasing agent sent out uh, bids, and this company, MT2, is one of the companies that we identified that uh, uh, is a, a national company that specializes in range remediation. Uh, and so their bid was the lowest bid, and we believe that they can adequately accomplish the remediation that we're looking for. Do you have comments, questions? Uh, Michael, Mike, you just have a company with a wand and go over the area and just dig this stuff up. It's, it, yeah, it's not quite that simple, but it, it's not much more than that. It's just much larger equipment. So they come in and uh, the first thing they do is control any outflows. Once they start digging, they have to make sure that they don't uncover things that then leach out into the surrounding areas. 
then they'll take back hose and they'll dig at a minimum of two feet of dirt off the face of the range. They'll bring in a uh, separating machine and put it all into a separator and take out all the lead. Uh, the dirt will go back onto the range. We're obviously going to have to order some additional dirt to, to rebuild the face of the range. Uh, also within the project, we manage for landscaping. Uh, uh, after they're done, the range will be dirt and we have to uh, plant vegetation back on it to keep it from running off. So. And then somebody from the EPA or whoever comes back and make sure that we've had this done? No, we're not We're not managed by the EPA. We haven't, uh, we haven't been inspected or incurred any sanctions. We're trying to stay in front of uh, any type of uh, any type of punitive remediation. We're, we're taking it on ourselves to stay in front of any leaching that might occur. Okay. Yeah. I imagine there's quite a significant amount of lead if it's been since the late 50s till now. Yeah, it's got all. <laughs> yeah, I'm curious it, to hear what the exact. So we have several companies come in and, and this, is, this company does it a little bit differently than the other ones. Um, they'll put a value on the lead that comes out of the range and then buy it from us at half of what its reclaimed value is. Sure. Uh, and then they get the other half. Okay. Um, but they, it's hard for them to estimate how much lead is actually in there. Uh, you know, it could be, it could pay for half the project and it might just be a thousand or two thousand dollars. It's really hard to say because lead will break down. Uh, and that's the leaching process. Okay, yeah, that's part um, of the problem. They said typically what they see is in the center of the range where everybody shoots, there's one great big ball of lead, and then it's you know disperses on down the ranges and moving to uh, areas that don't get fired on as much. Yeah, it's it's not a situation where after they have it all dug up, they they lay a, a layer of rubber or something so that that can't go down any farther. No, very few of the outdoor ranges have anything like that. The the only thing that we're considering for the future is a. Uh, uh, a drainage tile system in front of the range. So as water runs down the face of the range, it goes into the tile system uh, and then we'll get directed into a sewer rather than the groundwater. Mm -hmm. But right now we don't have, we, we haven't been able to get, find any evidence that there's any lead uh, leakage at all. Oh. So. That's good. Any other questions? I would like to entertain a motion to approve. Motion to approve. Again. Yeah, motion and a second on the floor. So, uh, for all those who are in favor of approving this resolution, please signify by stating aye. 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 Those, chair votes aye. That resolution is approved. Item number eight is resolution number 58 22 23 96 2022. A resolution authorizing the purchasing agent to issue a purchase order for the purchase of four police squad sport utility vehicles and one large capacity van for the Sheboygan Police Department. So this is the uh, uh, annual purchase of squad cars. Uh, we, we have uh, a certain number of squad cars that we purchase through the capital plan every year. Uh, this year we're looking at four uh, of the patrol cars. Uh, those are the sport utilities. And then we have a 20-year-old uh, Dodge Ram van that we've been using for a paddy wagon for 20 years that we're replacing with the, with the Ford uh, caravan or e350 van um, all of these have been approved through the capital budget uh, we're, we're approving them now uh, for purchase because we can place the orders now to be uh, so they won't be delivered until next year but the sooner we get the orders in the sooner in 2023 we will be able to actually purchase them you have any other questions and you do this through the state where, the, where they do the market study or whatever and give, get us the best pricing we yeah, possibly can. Well, we buy them on the state contract price. Uh, yeah. Okay. yeah. Any other questions, comments? If not, I'm looking for a motion to approve. Motion to approve. Motion on the floor. Second. Okay, we have a motion and a second. So, for all of those who are in favor of approving this resolution, Signify by stating aye. Aye. Opposed? Chair votes aye. That resolution is approved. Item number nine is RO number 61 22 23 96 22 by City Clerk submitting various license applications. We're recommending all the applications on the RO be granted. So 
I have to grab it. Do you grant rate fund staff recommendations? Motion to grant fund staff recommendations. A second. Okay, so we have a motion and a second on the floor. All those who are in favor of approval, please signify by stating aye. 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 Opposed? Chair votes aye. That RO is approved. Item number 10 is our next meeting date. Our next meeting date will be September 28th, 2022. We're looking for a motion to adjourn. Motion to adjourn. Second. Second. All those in favor of adjournment, please signify by stating aye. 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 Opposed? Chair votes aye. We are adjourned. Thank you.